Hey everybody, my name is Jake Brown from General RV and welcome to our virtual showroom. Let's take a look at some of the features of this gorgeous RV. Thanks, Jake. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt. I'm Andrea. And today I'm super excited to be showing you the 2021 Keystone Outback Ultralight Model 291 UVH. Matt, this is a great floor plan. It's a lightweight travel trailer with high-end features. Exactly. Let's start on the inside and then we'll take a look at the outside. Great. Check this out, Matt. Oh yeah. I like the bathroom there. Yes. So this is a very interesting floor plan with what they're trying to accomplish. With the Outback Ultralight series, they're trying to stay under a certain weight. Dry weight on this trailer is 6,950 pounds. That's incredible. So with some of the higher end features, I'm really excited. Let's start in the bedroom. Sure. Okay, so we got a queen size bed. Queen size walk around bed. I like what they're doing with the light color cabinetry. And you got wardrobes on both sides. What would you consider this, like a beach look or something? Uh, yeah, I guess it's more like the farmhouse look. Yeah, okay, kind of farmhouse. I like how you have storage on this side and then do you know what that is? A laundry chute. That is so cool. <laughs> and do we have storage under here, Matt? Oh, oh, wow. We sure do. Oh, and then look, there's a crate. That's where you can put your puppy uh, while you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that to my puppy. Well, she's too big. But check out this door. Nice barn style door right there. I love the look of that. Yes. And the bathroom is really interesting. Check out how big the shower is. Very big shower. Very nice. You know, it Roomy. is It is kind of weird with this bathroom setup, but it's practical and it's big and spacious. I rather have a nice big spacious bathroom that you have to walk through to get to the bedroom rather than them trying to shove it all in a corner and not having space. I agree. You have a toilet right here. That's it is a porcelain toilet and again, big bathroom. I have plenty of space and I'm comfortable. And then you have your sink and medicine cabinet right up here. Wow, I tell you, I'm really impressed. Yep, let's check out the living room area. Nice, look at this. Or the kitchen. Okay, I'm gonna start over here in the kitchen. Yep. I am really excited about this. I see the extra extension here for more counter space. That's mm -hmm. great. We got a cabinet up here. We got a nice rectangle sink here. Mm -hmm. Cabinet underneath. And Matt, I think I forgot. Are there drawers on the other side? There sure is. We have, wow, four drawers. Wow. Big drawers. Storage on the other side of this and another drawer right here. That's incredible storage. Okay, let's see. They have a little microwave here. We got a three burner Furion cooktop and they gave you a Furion oven. Wow. That's great. Let's see, we got a Dometic two-way refrigerator. Now this runs off your shore power and your propane. Yep, two-way fridge, propane and electric. And then right over here is the dinette area. Look at this. I like what they did this with the tabletop. This is a new look. Very nice. It's kind of matching this farmhouse theme. Very comfortable dinette. You have your privacy blinds right here. And then look how many windows there are. It's open and airy, and I really like that. And this drops down to make a bed as well. I believe it yes, does. Yes, it does. Yep. Fantastic. Sure does. And then check out this living room. A lot of times in a travel trailer this size and light, you're forced oh. to watch the TV sideways where this, you have theater seats. Comfortable. Thomas Payne collection. And we're looking directly at the television I love right it. there. Look at this cabinetry up here. More, more storage space. And we got some cabinets underneath. It does come with the radio and Blu-ray. Very nice, Matt. And you know what's great about this? What's that? You got books for your children or guests. We'll show them. Look at this has a pocket door here. Now, these bunks will hold 150 pounds. Well, the so top one will. Oh yeah, the bottom holds 300. Absolutely. Wow, okay. I see there is cabinets up here. Yep. And we got the drawers here. Mm-hmm. And it has a ladder as well. 
What I like about this little bunk room, Andrea, is when, when people are looking for a bunkhouse travel trailer, 30% of their RV is dedicated to that bunkhouse. Yes. Where this, this is for the person who wants to bring their kids sometimes, or maybe their grandkids, but the grandkids aren't going with them all the time. And so you shut this off and you're only losing 10% exactly. of your travel trailer space. So you can still get all this living area. And it's great because you know these bunks are bigger. They're not the small yes, skinny ones. The doubles over doubles. Well, the inside of this travel trailer looks great, but it looks even better on the outside. Let's go take a look. All right. Okay. I really like the awning. Yes, nice power awning. Goes almost the whole length of the travel trailer. And I would like to mention these Lipper component solid steps are new and they're great. They're very sturdy when we're walking in and out of the travel trailer. Because this is an Outback, we do have the Arctic Barrier Package, good for four seasons. But Andrea, do you know what I mean when I say four seasons? Yes. <laughs> At, for, I always, when I say four seasons, I mean four seasons with an asterisk, as in you can't go to Alaska in the winter. Right. So, you know, it depends on how four seasons your four seasons are. Great. Up, up front here, we have a nice fiberglass front cap. Outback Ultralight, it's big, bold, this is painted and you do have these LED light strips right here. We do have a power tongue jack right here. And Andre, do you know what the hitch weight is? 655 pounds. Yes, vertical hitch weight. Always make sure you get weight distribution bars when you guys are looking at travel trailers. It just makes it easier and safer for you to tow. Absolutely. Propane right here. And then you have a nice black diamond rock guard right here. Now Matt, this does have a kitchen. I can't wait to see that on the outside. Yep, but before we do, we have nice storage pass through and it is held up by a magnet. You know what this is? That is your power stabilizing jack. Absolutely, when you get to the campground and you unhitch this, all you do when you're level, you push that down and it will stabilize the whole travel trailer. Oh Matt, it does have outdoor speakers as well. Not only that, you can have a TV on the outside. You have power and cable hookup right there. Awesome. Now show everybody what you're oh, excited about. This is what I'm excited about. Look at this. Wow. Yep, nice little stove top right here. Two burner cooktop. It's a little outside kitchen. It's really great. You also have a fridge here. Again, with this travel trailer, they are trying to stay under 6,950 pounds. So it's great that you even had that option. I agree. And then this awning right here, if the wind starts to blow too hard or if it rains, you can do what's called pinching the awning to make it angle from one end to the other. Wow. Coming around the back, we have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. What's that, Andrea? Storage. Little bit of storage right there. Wow, I'm impressed with that. Spare tire with carrier, prep for a backup camera, and we do have a one-piece TPO roof. Coming around the side, it is a 50 amp travel trailer. So that's your power cord right there. And you got your water heater? Yep. Okay. Here's our hookups. Very nice, clean, and easy to get to. I love that it has an outdoor shower. Yep, so if you like to go to the beach, you can shower off before coming into a travel trailer so sandy. There's your black tank down there. Yep, that's where you dump your black and gray tank, easy to get to. And then right up there is your black tank flush to help clean out your black tank. And then you do have your city water connection and fresh water connection. You fill up the city if you're at the campground and the fresh water if you plan on going boondocking. And then to wrap it all up, there's the other side of that nice pass-through storage. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure you go to generalrv.com forward slash virtual showroom to check out thousands of our RVs, motorhomes, travel trailers, and fifth wheels. We'll see you on the lot.